Welcome back, one and all, to our final game of the evening. It is Team Asta taking on Alliance A versus A. An Alliance, I did look so hot a. in game one. Yeah. They did not They did not bring their A game in that oh. first match, definitely. It's a spicy one, is it? <laughs> kill Pretty me, good. Kill me now. <laughs> well, let's get us out of here. Into the draft we move. We can talk about Dota 2. All right, we have the first Team A, Team Aster. Ten seconds. Look at that finish. galaxy behind their A. It's so beautiful. <laughs> Alliance have a green shield, though. And they have like cherry sponsor on top of it. <laughs> like a galaxy, but then just a lot of stuff just mashed upon it. Mm. All right. So what do we have? Lone Druid, Chen, E.T. all banned out with Lycan and Slardar. So all of these it's real always, comfy Alliance picks taken out. It's always interesting for me to see a Lifestealer pick, but the Lone Druid ban. Just leave that Lone Druid in. I know it's a Alliance. Actually, don't leave it. You're playing versus Alliance. You don't ban Lone Druid. You lose to Laundred, he takes your base alone with his bear, so yeah, it's good you you banned it out. This is also reminiscent of those uh, of those long gone days like TI three, TI four with a Naga, but also the Lifestealer, Razor, Lone Druid kind of love triangle, right? Where you pick one against the other against the other. Yeah. What I don't think? know what kind of love triangles you're talking about, but some real nice ones. Disruptor hasn't been Radio a part of any love recently in those. <laughs> like, we haven't seen him at all. So, Team Master picking him up. Actually, I think Alliance played him a couple of times. So, Disruptor taken for Team Aster. And Alliance going with Kotal, Duza, Earth Spirits. Kotal, Duza, obviously a pretty powerful combo. You have that Chakra Magic for Duza. Also, you have the Willow Wisp with the Stone Gaze. With the Earth Spirit, a very nice team fight, honestly. This is looking much better for Alliance. It's the way this draft much, is going. Yeah, this this draft, like, Five seconds I feel remaining. Alliance in this draft, so it, it's it's very good. Taiga on that Earth Spirit, Insania on that Kotal, gonna find farm eventually. Not gonna get crushed on the lanes either. At the same time, Team Master with the Life Stealer with the Tiny, if they get some quick farm on that Life Stealer, they can definitely jump that Duza, blow her up. I wonder if this is gonna be the first game in which we, which in which we don't see Life Stealer. With a Radiance. Mm. I think in this Why particular game, pick? that I might be alright. The they get the Kunkka mid, most likely. Well, 100%, shall we put it that way. There is a chance that Kunkka is 4, but Boboka did play Kunkka 4, but I think it's Tiny 4 and Kunkka mid. Versus that Duza, most likely on Alliance. But Alliance, actually, they, they have... Radiant team back. Monkey possibility, <laughs> and why not? There is that. You were talking about Monkey in game one, weren't you? Yeah, because Monkey was good in that game, and now I'm glad that they didn't go for something like a Tide Hunter and they yeah. went for a Monkey instead. Three potential melee cores on Aster, right? Life still a tiny Kunkka. Exactly. All suffer to the Monkey King, and, and Boxy likely to play it, but I don't know. We could see Koikva grab it if need be. Mickey as well. Like, yeah. I don't know. My, my problem with that is like if you pick Five Monkey seconds, versus Kunkka and you don't put him mid, I don't know what you're doing. Monkey just crushes that lane. It can go either way. Kanka, he can kind of fall back. And with the help of one teammate, you have that X marks the spot. You can catch Monkey. You can blow him up. But usually, if you do leave them one versus one, Monkey just dominates and crushes. So I would hate to see Alliance pick Monkey and then not put him mid versus Kunk. And another thing I wonder about here is where the Medusa goes. Because the way that Alliance plays, they... They, they kind of spread the farm across their 2 and 3 position quite nicely between uh, between Koikva and Boxy. Mm -hmm. And then Mickey is kind of the position 1, you know, the, the one farm, real carry. Yep. And that's usually the position that Medusa wants to be in. I mean, you can put her Ten as 1, right? Remaining. So it's alright. And then have the monkey mid against the Kunkka, like you're saying, yep. and then leave the Five final hero to be the offlaner. Yeah, you basically leave the Boxy for the final hero. The monkey goes for Echo Saber, something like that, just to create enough space for your Doza to, to farm. And let's see, they go with the Beast. beast I, I think master. that's uh, really the case. Beastmaster is going to be on that offlane. Early Vlads in a Beast with a Dusa Monkey. And then you have Monkey King plus Beastmaster roaming across the map, creating space for that Doza to just lay back and farm. And roar against Rage TP, which is always super important to have. Vision from the Hawk. This is a nice, well-rounded draft from Alliance. I, I like it. I like it as well. I like it more than that Tide Hunter last game mid. So let's see what Team Master has in store for us. Can they maybe? Uh, thing is, I don't like Kunkka on any other lane than mid. Than mid, yeah. yeah. It's where they have to show their hand as well right now, isn't it? Their final hero should give away where this tiny's heading because I'm I'm thinking Boboka four pause tiny is a I, definite possibility. Yeah, that's a pog right there, tiny Boboka. He was good with that. 
in that last game. I think he's going to be good in this one as well on Tiny. Let's see just what they opt for. They do not have that... They don't have that Rasta that's going to be able to just plan those wards and bring them momentum. They've got so much displacement with X and Glimpse. Toss. They do. They do. Three spells that move Alliance around in these fights. Their gameplay is completely different this time around. They cannot play the same game they did in the last match. They go with the Razor. <laughs> hmm. So is this... Is this going to be that Razor mid versus Monkey King? Are we going to see a sideling Kunkka, I wonder? It, 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 it is possible. I still think you can put the Razor versus Koikwa, though, and that's all right, too. Oh, you, I mean, you can put Razor on any of these lanes. <laughs> Razor is going to win either one of these. Maybe maybe the worst lane it would be versus Medusa. The rest of them are super fine. Baboka Tiny. Baboka Tiny, of course. X success on the Kunga. No. They can still lane this any way they want to. Most likely, we're going to see the classic lane from them. X success on mid. Who was your MVP in game one, Lizard? Game one? I don't know. Baboka Shadow Shaman? Side Maybe because of, of that stack. Just because of that port into stack, I'm, I'd, I'd give him the MVP, but it's the LC that really made them tick. But Shadow Shaman, with the rotations. Make sure you all get your votes in if you're an Alliance fan. It's time to start voting for your favorite players. If you're an Asta fan, Oh, game one has already gone your way, so we'll just pop over to the video, shall we? Did you get your votes in? I hope you had enough time, because we're swinging into game two right now. Drafts are done. Players and teams are ready. Do you want to bet on a pause at the start? <laughs> Coin flip for it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say no pause. I bet you this. one cookie that there's going to be a pause. Huh? Eventually in this game. Of, oh, eventually. eventually. Yeah, okay. What if there isn't? Then I win a cookie. I'll give you a cookie. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I was given two cookies in this hotel that I came. Nice. Yeah. She gave me only one at start, but I asked for more. I demanded. <laughs> demanded more. So Alliance looking much better draft-wise. Game two here. Insania Cottle. Make it on the Dusa. Boxy Monkey King in courier mode is heading mid. Koikva is going to play the offlane Beastmaster. Tiger on his Earth Spirit heads down bottom as well. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have the Monkey versus Razor mid. I don't know if Razor... I don't know if Monkey is going to be satisfied with that. I think they they might put even Dusa mid or something like that. But they don't really have many options. It's Asta, the way they're setting up. Kunker and Tiny. XXS with the Baboka up top. And Fenrir is joining them with a the Disruptor. Yeah. So the problem with that usually is that Kunka needs those levels, wants those levels as soon as possible. But honestly, you don't want Kunka to be completely crushed by Monkey King, so you rotate him top. Last game, we also saw the the dances of these cores, Tidehunter and Razor primarily, just moving from one lane to another. We'll see if they do the same thing here. Well, Mickey has hold up middle. Yeah. So it will be the lane against. And Bo Bo Boxy moved up with his monkey. Now we're going to see if they remain like that or if they switch things around. No. They're going to stay like this. Honestly, you know what? Uh, Kunka versus Monkey King on mid is definitely monkey favored. Monkey crushes that lane, right? At the same time, Monkey is not nearly as good in dual lanes as he is in a 1v1. In a 1v1, he buys stout, he gets Venom, and he just runs after you, he crush, crushes you. In the dual lane scenario, until level 3, even if he gets the Jingle Mastery stacks off, you can still club him down with the big stick of the Tiny. Because he's never trading 1v1, right? He's never trading 1v1, so he can't really heal up as much as he's damaged. He still does fine, but it's not as easy. Look at this already, Boxy on the defensive. Third didn't even go for the gone. passive, went for that stun. Barrel strike to secure last hits. So bottom lane, Sylar and Fenrir, they're going to pair up. Beastmaster and Earth Spirit down here. In mid lane, Dusa against Razor. Already 4-2. and two. Up on Mushi. Mickey has a wave coming under his tower. Should be able to secure some good CS there. Nicely done by the Dusa. And a good Mystic Snake to follow through. Oh, really nice, Mickey. Go on. 
Get the range creep, dude. I, I believe in you. This is your CS. Don't let Razor have it. A pseudo deny from Mushi. Top lane. Pseudo deny, yeah. Boxy in trouble. This is the issue with the Monkey King. Punched yeah. down into oblivion, and Baboka will be traded back by Xavier. Very Australia. close. Very, very close, but not close enough for Boxy. He dies first. He doesn't get the experience. Also, they give the first blood to Boboka and getting that position for first blood, man, that feels good. Boots up for Mushi already in the mid lane. Yeah, he, he definitely needs boots. Dooza needs to react with boots too. As he's gonna run up, just link you, you need to get out as soon as possible. So, eventually you're gonna have to do that. With the double wraith bands into treads, like you're definitely thinking about the boots now, realizing... Moments like that with a static link aren't really healthy for him. Sila making aggressive maneuvers towards Oxy Tiger. Oxy is level 2 top. He got the Jingu. But he's very low. A couple of stacks up. He didn't get the Jingu mastery. Three hits only. And one more punch, Boxy's dead. Yeah. You do get the stacks up, but you still die. And this is basically why Monkey isn't that great on the dual lane, especially versus two hard hitters such as Kunkka and... and uh, tiny. Not right now. Once he gets level 3, perhaps things are going to change, but... And he, he just TP'd, so he can't actually yeah. TP back he's, to the lane. He's already suffering quite hard. At least he has that courier form to run top. We don't have a toss here for Pavoka, but with an avalanche into Torrent, it is more than enough control to find the kill on Kotl. Aster already off to a spanking great start early on this game. Top this top lane is going great for them. Duza isn't really doing too well on mid. Oh, look at this. Monkey's uh, coming in. They might get this kill. Yeah. Hi. He's speedy. Boots windlace. Foxy can't catch him. And Insania avalanched up does yep. get the final click in, yep. fortunately for them. You, you do have boots on, on the Tiny, but Kotl with boots is going to catch anything. Look at that movement speed. Just ridiculous. I mean, Tiny has tranquils now. 365. Kotl with just brown boots is 382. <laughs> Mid lane Tiger rolling onto Mushi. Can he kick him back? He doesn't or what? Even bother. <laughs> even if you kick him back, you don't really do a lot to him. So this is just a nuisance here. Just annoying him. Just messing with him a bit, helping Mickey, but. Maybe he forces Salve, but that's, yep. that's the most you can do. You're right. Yep. Pretty much, pretty much. And this does leave Koikva alone down bottom. Radiant so Fenrir can get a nice pull across. Time. While Silas zones Koikva away, and they've they've glyphed up Radiant. What's that? What's that glyph for? Is that a Mystic Snake block or something? Because Mushi is salving up. Tiger with a static link on him is being walked around. Rolling Boulder out keeps him safe and sound. All right. Boxy X marks the spot on top. Boboka is there with the Avalanche. A nice timing by XXS, make sure the mischief doesn't mess him around too much, but Boxy did bring a salve to lane mm -hmm. after returning. You're not gonna manage to kill him this time around, however, Koikwa dies now. These lanes aren't looking too great for Alliance, are they? Doza is, yeah, Doza has like 17 CS, a bit more than the Kunkka, but overall... Yeah. Razor 18 and 12, those big denies from Mushi. Level 5 against the level 4 and a half. That's half a level advantage. Coming out already. There's Baboka. Moves in onto Boxy yet again. He's got no more regen left in this lane, so they've chipped away. There aren't many heroes that can trade hits with him like the way th these two are doing because they're so tanky, right? Kunka and, uh, and Tiny, possibly two tankiest heroes early on like this. Really nice read by Baboka there. Gets clipped by the Illuminate, and he assumes that some follow-through is coming. He sidesteps, still gets caught, but nice. But yeah, a nice read indeed. Really nice read. So Taiga did a smart move. They rotate the top. They needed to do something about that top lane as well. At least the top lane. I don't think you need to help Mickey. Like just let, leave him in the jungle, ignore him, let him lose the lane versus Razor. It doesn't matter. Let him come back to the lane once it's pushed. But you need that monkey to have a good start. That monkey is going to be the hero that's basically able to carry you through the mid game together with that Beastmaster. If this monkey is weak, your whole mid game is weak and you're going to be crushed. Koik for now trying to cut waves. If Lance is queued up, that's really going to be the main goal of him as top lane Foxy. And again, caught. No, no, no toss onto the Monkey King, but. I, I don't think he's going to carry them through the mid-game. Like, not if the, he continues dying like this. They need to rotate that third spirit top. They need to keep him top. You can't greed out. You can't stay mid with third spirit getting levels. At this point, can you put the monkey bottom to lane against Lifestealer? 
Because he, just, he keeps returning top to this kind of dead lane where he's dying over and over again. We roll in towards Maboka, toss away from the torrent, makes things a little bit wonky and there is the finish. This is this is the play. Just move the Taiga top and keep him top. Get these kills. Is Taiga maybe gonna... No, he's fine. Boxy should get the four stacks. There's the Jingu Mastery. The problem for them no, now though is Kotl left. He went mid to help Duza. Duza just dies. And also Insignia is dead. He has sticks, does he? Yeah, he maybe he's right. Yeah, he's gonna live. He's gonna live. Mushi escaping with barely any HP remaining. But now that Kotl has rotated mid and that Earth Spirit has rotated mid. Fenrir. Okay, they're gonna get a nice kill here. Over Venom slows him enough for Mikkei to catch up. Yeah, any kill for Mikkei is definitely great here. However, Monkey King is basically demoted to the jungling Monkey King and not he's not farming any camp, he's farming the small camp. <laughs> Good luck with that smoke node that's gonna give you eight gold or something. Oh. Eighteen gold. Oh. I it wasn't the smallest of smalls. It was one of the one of the medium ones. Mikkei. Time to dip back into the jungle, my dude. Medusa. I'll try and make a home back there as Baboka hunting Boxy, who leaps onto the canopy and back down again. And this isn't looking atrocious for Alliance anymore. They are finding nice little pockets to farm in. Coik for cutting Medusa back in the jungle. But Fenrir, he's on these warding missions. That's not an observer ward, that's a sentry. He's pinging out saying, hey, Medusa's over here. The rest of his team not really available. And now you've been Monkey King down bottom, but it's a, 11, a level 7 lifestealer for Silo already. Yep, he has level 4 feast. Still though, Monkey King... He's finding something right now. He needs to basically just mess things up a little bit. Make crazy stuff happen across the map. Just make things like... Uh, Taiga. Nice block by Fenrir. He's under the tower though and... Oh. Man, Henry lost so much HP. 2 HP. Mushi continues chasing, gets the kill, but the roar is there. And Koikva claims the life of Razor under that tier 1, with Mikke joining in for a this bit is, of experience. This is great for Alliance. If they continue doing these crazy movements on the side of Aster, you just, you're just going to capitalize from it. As long as, as long as you create chaos across the map, maybe this monkey is going to find some kills, find some farm. If the, if the lanes just continue going the way they were, Without you mixing things up a little bit, you're just going to get demolished, so... So XXS swings into mid. Koikva. Into the jungle he goes. On Silar, face boots, Hand of Midas, 4,700 net worth, really is. King of the farm. Boxy trying to keep him at bay, but this tier one will take a little bit of damage. Koikva now with the Vlads, but top lane, are they diving? They are. Insania, blinding light is there. With a quick toss and a static link. We'll try and run him down. A slow the plasma field and the final punch. The crack over the whip from Mushi is in the meantime. Silo kills off the Monkey King. With the help of Fenrir, I assume. Yeah, the, the Thunder Blast was on cooldown, so most likely used on... Oh, here we go. A nice glimpse back. Has no roar, but they have no ways of stopping the port, so... Nice glimpse back. Didn't really do a lot. There is Laz finished on Koikwa. Uh, this is the problem, like he got this Laz, he wants to fight, he wants to be the one that makes space, and he looks like might, he might be the one that dies here. He has Roar though. He's thinking about it, throws it in. They do get the Roar, Fenrir is being chased in the back. Is he on the cliff? Yeah, he is. Uh, up on the high ground. X mark Torrent and the boat all flying through onto Tiger. Nice little bound to strike to claim Fenrir's life, and they chase forward for XXS, Monkey King, Primal Spring. They won't continue on. So Alliance don't lose anything, they get a kill on the Disruptor and they keep Medusa farming. All things considered, pretty good sequence of events for them. Hmm. They do have that Midas on Nyx, he's just super fine. He didn't get the kill on, on Beastmaster, he would love to have that, but he forced the defensive roar. He continues farming. This Beastmaster, he needs someone else in his team to either get levels or items. He cannot carry them on his own. This Duza, yeah, you do have the highest net worth on your team, but you're useless right now. You need at least level 6 on Earth Spirit or something on this monkey so that they can start hunting uh, players across the map. But they're all way too tanky already. Like, who do you go on? You can kill this Disruptor perhaps, but that's about it. Yeah, Medusa is very much in farming mode right now. 
Toss of the catapult on towards the tier one. Cleared up by Tiger. Yeah, defending this tier one. Yeah. Kotl with these Illuminates definitely can defend. So they have that for them. They have heroes that can defend towers. So. Four yeah. heroes from Aster though make it easy. Mm. Does buy some time for Dusan as she farms away into the jungle. Here we go. Tiger has hit level six. Koikva has the roar with the Vlads and a three-man smoke from Alliance. Maneuvering to top where Mushi could be opened up. Does he walk forward? He will. Observer Ward spots him as well and they should be able to swoop in to claim the kill. And maybe is. the courier. Yules? Nah, it's not finished off. So a roar and then illuminate. Down goes Mushi. And he come back. Gunka ported, Disruptor ported, but... I'm not certain if they can do anything about this. Alright, so this is a good pick-off definitely for them. Razor felt invincible, port the top on his own, instantly gets punished by that smoke movement by Alliance. They did commit a lot of heroes to it, but you know what? At this point of the game, you can't really... You can't really commit two heroes and get a kill. You need your force to be in numbers. Monkey King is coming back though. He's got his phase boots. His net worth not looking as atrocious anymore. Yeah. Barely ahead of the tiny right now as Baboka works his way towards the blink on top of the tranquil soul ring he already has. Well, this is the period of the game now, kind of 13, 14, 15 minutes in, where Asta can really start you know, pressing into this enemy jungle, warding up the Medusa's farming camps, and really pressuring Mickey as hard as they can while they take down all the tier ones. There's only one remaining. I wouldn't be surprised just to see Asta swing swing bot, right? Yeah. Coming they have behind there, get an they observer ward down. Mm -hmm. Ward this triangle of death where all the carries get lost. I think you ward up here, try and catch vision of the mid tier two as well. They're going the long way around though. Yeah, the thing is you wanna ward the cliffs first so you can take the towers. I think Boboka is gonna do that. Off we go, in towards the Medusa, the ward up on the high ground, and the static storm connects with Mickey. They've got this Will O' Wisp though. A bit of an annoyance here for Team Aster as they're getting drawn towards the light and a Medusa pops the Stone Gaze. Swinging around this fight, the Magnetize is burning them low and Boboka will fall and XXS with Mushi, they've got a turn tail. And Silar. Silar's dying, oh, the nice infest. Jump in, jump out, but the roar's there from Koikva. Alliance defending their Dusa with everything they've got. A double kill for Mickey, three heroes drop and Alliance don't lose a damn thing. Considering how far behind they were, that fight was very well played by them. This is the fourth kill that they're about to get, it seems. Four kills, almost the team wipe, only Kunka survives, and very well played by Alliance, punishing that super aggression with the good combination of Duza's Stone Gaze with the Will of the Wisp, with the Earth Spirit's damage, and Duza just standing there hitting them. Not even use the shrine, yeah. so. I wonder if that came off cooldown after the fight, though. It did, I think. Yeah. It did, but overall, they just. Brilliant, yeah, brilliant execution there. So. Aston did commit on the Medusa, which maybe was a, a little overconfident. Definitely overconfident because they they didn't just instantly go on her together, right? That tiny still does not have a blink. He was warding. You use the... I mean, it just wasn't great. You use the dis Disruptor Zolt, but then you then you have Willow Wisp on top of you, so you can't hit that. Was, uh, so. Can Koik for TP here? This is definitely the comeback right that they needed. The ball slow onto Kunka. Stops any chance of an X or a Torrent. 9 to 12, net worth lead has dissipated for Asta. And Alliance with Midas up on Monkey. Dusa closing in on Manta style. And Beastmaster with a medallion now done. Really does improve. Suddenly they have items and they're not really far behind either. 1k behind. The only thing that they were missing after that laning stage to come back were levels. Their supports were super under farmed, super under leveled. Starved of experience, once they got their ultimates, instantly they get Razor on top, they instantly win a Shrine fight, they're back, Alliance back. And with this Alliance draft, how how you know, particularly afraid of the Radiance lifestyle are you? Because usually in a game you're thinking, oh, it's like an anti-mage, it's that timing, you're thinking, oh, we've got to stop him before he gets it, and when he gets it, he runs at you. Alliance have a few ways of handling Silas' lifestyle this game, don't they? And they definitely do, it's not like the, he's that monster that can't be dealt with. At the same time, however, if Razor runs, just runs towards that Duza, links her and just chases her through the fight, can make her life living hell. But 
Yeah, there are multiple spells that <laughs> each one of these teams have that messes with the enemy scores. Roll in from Tiger, finds a kill. With Koikva on Fenrir's Disruptor, but the X mark back. Torrent and Boat onto Tiger with a static link. The trouble is, this Will O' Wisp is again causing issues for Asta. Oh, this Will O' Wisp is just so strong. Even after the nerf, yeah. yeah. Pre BKB, it's just ridiculous. Baboka. Baboka. Tiger. All done. Nice little grab by the Tiny. Closes in on that blink dagger timing as well. Sila makes short work of the top lane, but I think he's getting pinched. Beastmaster, no raw, so a little difficult here to go in on Sila, who already has dipped back into the trees to maybe TP home. Maybe not. He's going into the jungle. He wants to continue farming. Yeah, he sees that. Doza, he might fall back right now. He used that rage already. Quite quite around, but the Sila know that he has no roar, I wonder. Moves back. Tiny is getting closer to that blink. With that blink, they're gonna have the infest bomb plus radiance. Suddenly, they're just gonna speed speed the game up a little bit. Try to get those pickoffs. It's on Alliance to respond to those timings, though. Position your Beastmaster behind the Dooza with the Kotu. Use the Willow the Wisp. Use the roar. Save the Dooza. After that, you can do anything. You can just turn the fight. Mikay is getting that 4 staff, which is crucial versus Knives. To kite him a bit further. And the Razor's link. Yep, definitely. The razor is a problem too. You're right. And Monkey after the Midas pretty quickly. Mm -hmm. Getting that Echo Saber. And that one fight gave so much to Alliance. It's not only that it uh, gave so much to Alliance, it completely stopped Aster dead in their tracks. They're not making any moves whatsoever any longer. They're like, all right, guys, we lost that fight. I guess they're back. Let's just chill. It's, it's <laughs> like also down to like all the tier ones are gone, so there's no easy objectives, right? No easy objectives. You've got to go deep into the enemy base. A jump from Tiger looking for a solo kill on Fenrir, and he will claim it. But with a static storm and X mark back, he drops his own life. Baboka in on Monkey King. Boxy, body blocked. Keep the punches going, little tiny. Stop him from springing up onto the trees. I don't want to go high ground, though. Yeah, no there's a shrine. Mickey and Kotl are waiting, so... It's very hard to go on the high ground there. It's it's funny how one lost fight can psychologically impact you so hard as a team. It's not that... Uh, it is that they're waiting the dagger on Tiny and the Radiance on Nikes, right? But that didn't stop them before. They were still making moves, they were still rotating around. Now when they lose that fight, they're like, all right, let's not feed that dude any longer. Let's just wait for our item, seriously. It very quickly went from we're ahead, let's get more ahead, to we're, we're kind of ahead, let's... Uh, let's not ruin it let's, and feed yeah. the dude. Let's not do any more of this shenanigans. BKB being worked on by Kunker out of the armlet. He's going to be a, a, a pretty beefy third core here on top of Mushi's Yule's set. Wait, Sila just solo kills the Beastmaster. Huh? With the Radiance and no Roar. I guess he just gets him. He had no TP scroll because he was buying boots to travel, I guess. Dyer's top tower is oh, dearie me. Unfortunate. Poor Koikwa. Both teams are hitting these items now. Monkey seemingly ready to fight. Medusa in a good spot. Yeah, I think you want to kill this Dusa a few times before she gets that Skadi. That Skadi is going to be very difficult to deal with. Again, though, Asta just don't want to go high ground against this Will-O-Wisp into choke points on ramps. Well, they're just satisfied with the bounty runes there. Can they catch Tiger Top, though? He snuck a bounty rune under their nose. Three go the way of Paid with his life, but, yeah. Worth. Smoke up. Spotted. Mm, instantly pinged out. They know what's up, Beastmaster, just running away from top. At the same time, Razor Bottom on Boxy is following him. Black has some links, but they know about that smoke, so they know that Razor is alone. Maybe they are gonna make a move here, I wonder. They can try. They have travels on Beast. Mushi playing with that fake aggression as though he's got people behind him. Disruptor just holding mid, keeping that tier 1 safe and sound. That fake aggro on top lane can be huge, but... Onto the tier 2 we go for Sila. TP's in. Alliance. Start to set things up with Koikfoot arriving at the shrine. The rest of Aster, they bail out just in time. Things slow down 
20 minutes in pretty significantly. 13 to 14. And we're not seeing these infest bombs from Tiny Lifestealer yet. They're still they tried one smoke. Farming. It failed. Now they're going to try once again, perhaps. They need to devour these good dire wards that are scouting them out and their movements. You can see the tiny port at bottom was scouted out, instantly pinged out, instantly Boxy goes back. Alliance, yeah, their wards are on spot. And they're giving them all the info that they need to dodge these ganks, at the moment at least. And it's just more and more time for Mikis Dusa. Scardi's coming soon. S and Y though for Silar. This surely has to be something they pivot into aggression and maybe even just try to push into some of these tier twos. A, re a really, really close game considering how that first one went. Those are 3.4k gold moving slowly but steadily towards that Scardi. The Nikes is gonna have problems blowing her up. Honestly, she's gonna have that force to get out and the Scardi to slow him down. Yeah, you're, oh. yeah, you're gonna have the Manta, but... He sold the Sanj. He sold the Sanj? Yeah, he had Yasha, bought a Sanj, sold it, and then went back to Manta. Oh, okay. Nice pick off here. Nicely done. As Koifa pushes just an inch too far forward. What's up with Alliance picking offlane heroes to Koifa first game? That was Tidehunter. This game, it's Eastmaster now. It's definitely been their way, and it comes back to what I was talking about earlier about the kind of spread of farm between Koikva and Boxy, right? Mika is always that very hard position one, and both Boxy and Koikva... They do what they, they can with the rest. They <laughs> kind of flip-flop between, you know, one of them farming, the other one not. Playing in these kind of two and a half, maybe even both playing position three to the Mika's one. You can see that reflected down here. I mean, Koikva in this game, definitely position three. There's Mika and Boxy taking up the majority of the farm. Boxy has been has made a nice comeback here. Has that BKB eyed up. Midas and the Echo Saber. Long completed. Insania. With a smoke here. Tiger and Mickey joining in. I don't know if this is just them trying to defend and maybe set a trap around their tier 2. It's Asta not committing at all. They've been very non-committal for the past 10 minutes. Yeah, they they've definitely they definitely aren't setting the tempo of the game any longer. After that one fight on the shrine, they got a few pickoffs here and there, but nothing really major. I wonder what that smoke was for, though. They didn't really use it for anything, did they? Yeah, it's a little bit odd. Mm. Um, what are you doing, Setar? You're drunk. How did it get there? Get off the cliff, Centaur. How did it get there, actually? Blinding light. Yeah, most likely. It's the only, it's the only thing. Or I mean, boulder smash, but he's not going to boulder smash a set here. Yeah, I, I think it's blinding light indeed. Nice D ward as well from the cultle. Roll in, kick Roar. back. Good silence, but there's the manta. Roar comes out and quick for catches. Silas in trouble. Needs to be saved. And they've got themselves the stone gaze, but the little, uh, little old life stealer is going to jump out. Rage. Maybe even infest up into Baboka as quick has made the boot to travel play up into their face. The toss away and Mushi. Will not chase forward. So Alliance bust out the majority of their spells. Yeah. And don't now is get the time. Kill. If you are Aster, now is the time to smoke up to make a move. All their spells have been wasted. Yeah, you wasted your disruptors old, but it's not nearly as big as what Alliance have committed in that fight. They're still below the wisp, but that's it. And look, they smoke up. And look at Monkey. Look at its little boxy. Oh, look at little tiny. But oh, Boku knows tiny. exactly where he is. Cuts the tree. Gives him the tip. Why didn't he move away? Why didn't he jump instantly after breaking that smoke, though? You must know that they understand where you are. Sadly for him. I guess, theoretically, you could be two spots, right? You could be here, you could be here, maybe? Yeah, I guess so. They were re really close to the left cliff when mm. they were moving up, though, so... Yeah. That's very true. Scardi Fedusa finally arriving. Mm -hmm. Moving towards that Dragonlance, gonna have the pike soon. But the map doesn't belong to them anymore. A couple of very swift moves from Aster. Yep. And it feels like they've reclaimed control of this game. For as long as Alliance do not have their ultimates up, they do. But the moment Dusa has that ulti up, they might be looking to fight, it, fight them again. Radiance top tower is under attack. When's Roche time? Neither of these teams really look or feel like they want to do Roshan until they've won a big team fight. I think you you have to win a fight here first. These teams, they don't really have those Lardars or any amplifiers when it comes to taking Roche. 
There is Lads on Beast, and Beast is kinda good there, but I don't think he's good enough. We want some pickoffs. That's that BKB for Boxy. Couple of hundred gold away. Mickey finds Silo, gives him the old scar he hits. A roll forward from Tiger, not connecting. A rage out, and Life Dealer waves goodbye to the aggressive hordes of Alliance heroes. And Mushi might just swing around because Mickey trapped down in the river. X marked. Alliance looking at the Razor. Medusa falls down to the high ground. Oh. Static Storm wasted as Baboka Four, jumps in. Avatos onto a couple. Caught by the Baron of Strike on the way out. And with no mana remaining, he's cleared up. Alliance baiting super hard. But that was an obvious. For it. Yeah, that was an obvious bait by Mikkei. I don't know why they went for it. At least, even that Disruptor ult made no sense. Like, she has a force. You're not going to contain her there. So, you cannot go for that. Uza and then Baboka just goes ham into all of them. Maybe try to catch Mickey and toss him back in. Maybe that was the play. Force the force the force and then toss him back. And now they get a catch on Disruptor. Mm. Alliance is back. As soon as they get their ultis, they feel encouraged. And, and they didn't use them for that little fight, yeah, they did, did they? So they've did. got them now to push forward. Tier 2 to be claimed. Maybe even Roshan. Team Aster. What's Mushi got? When it comes to items, alright. Building into the Shivas, has blink, has a uh, BKB. He basically wants to pop the BKB, Shivas and run down Mickey. That's his plan, I believe. Stylo hasn't felt in impactful this game, really. He's got the farm, he's got the items, but against a Dusa, mm -hmm. he kind of feels a little lackluster when he's getting roared up and stone gazed. There's a bike. Alliance back into the jungle to farm. They, they, they do this quite a lot. They push forward, they gain map presence, they win a bit of a team fight. And then they go back into these patterns of just trying to shove out waves and deal with things, but it, it can be very, very easy here for Asta to read and really get these smoke ganks going because they've split so sparsely across the map. Mickey goes back into the little triple cap. Well, hey, look at the pings. They're pinging him out. He's there, guys. He's on the shrine. Let's get him. But how do you get him right now? Maybe you can get Boxy, but... He pops that BKB and the monkey's out. And with Asta showing so many heroes, they've got free push top. Medusa. Nice. Insania there with a glimmer cape. Scouting. Mickey. He's wandering forwards. What's he up to? He's looking for Fenrir. He wants the quick and easy one. Rolling in with the Will-O-Wisp. Nice boat over the top, will catch the Dusa, but Mickey just shredding to your master with a stone gaze now and the Wukong's command is the big team fight ulties and Alliance command the fight and Sola, he jumps around with the Manta, but he's been destroyed. And Mickey with a double kill and Alliance, and they roar forward. They give this Dusa a bit too much time to get all the items he needed and now he just forces himself into all of them, just breaks their lines apart, just stands in front and Deals with the supports very easily, and then also with the Nikes. Into the pit they go. Asta. Oh no, it, feel, it felt like Aster. It's like sand between their hands, yeah. water trickling through their fingers. They had the laning stage in the back, they did that alright, then a few mistimed fights. See, th this, this point here, right? It's before the Shrine fight. If that continues yeah. upwards, you, you know where the game's going. But that little dip, and then the return, and the dip, and it's ebbing and flowing as Alliance. Winning team fights at the perfect time to claim big objectives like Roshan. You don't really have the burst for the Dusa even without that uh, Aegis. Any you, longer. Need, you need a full duration link on Dusa. Yeah, you need the full duration link. A razor that just follows her around, stops her from dishing out damage. But it's easier said than done, as there is blinding light, there is a pike, there's... Butterfly soon. Yeah, there is a roar, butterfly. Radiance courier All the courier is dead. Monkey, boxy jumps on it, kid kills it. <laughs> oh, Baboki gets in front of Tiger, but he's got a blink and shows it off in style. He's also got a Yule Scepter here as they roll in. Baboka slowed by the Scar D, killed off by Mickey. And a long roll with the Yule Scepter, nice pick up. Grabs the Kunker, but forces the BKB is in towards the back. The Monkey King glimpsed away. The roar actually there from Koigva. Finding XXS. And they'll just slow him down to a real, real sad death. 
Yeah, it's all slipping away. Silo is split pushing bottom lane, but they're just bleeding out here, Asta. Dyke does have that AC. He's moving towards that MKB because he saw the butterfly that's being built by Mikkei. He saw the Eagle Song, basically, so... Can they stop the high ground? I think this is just a lane. I mean, they're trying to split push on two different lanes, mid and bottom. And Siler is doing quick work off of this tier 3. But Alliance can swing mid if they want to. Mm -hmm. Razor's TPing away. That Yule Scepter, well, he's not got a TP, Siler, for another 15 seconds. So with Koikva and Tiger down here committing, the fight back in the Radiant base is probably what we should be looking for. Uh, Fenrir used all of his... Uh, I mean, Knights cannot port back. He used all his spells. It was a stack storm by the Wukong's command with a Willow Wisp overlapping beautifully. Already Fenrir falls and Mushi. Well, he follows him into the grave six feet under, down the bottom. Nice. They do get the racks and life till the TP's back. I don't know if they can make a move forward though. Even with this torrent boat, Mickey is so damn strong. Has an Aegis in hand. Syla positions himself aggressively as though he wants to fight. But Baboka being ripped limb from limb, the tiny. Hey, shredded by the Dusa. Nice torrent onto two. Monkey King mischief doesn't get through. And Mickey, with all of his damage drained, does finally have to retreat. And it should be the Aegis being popped here. As Alliance jump in, Insania. Well, not uh, not of his own choice. Maboka tosses him into his death. Now Mickey, with the help of the Raw, can he get out of here? Manta styles up. The damage is going into Mushi and XXS. And Tiger re arrives. Magnetize in onto Siler. He's got himself the Rage going. He rips apart the Earth Spirit and looks for Koik for now. But Mickey, still tanky, still strong, holds the line. Blink out from Koik for. Saves his life. But the Torrent. him. Excellent with the X there. in the boat. But Mickey now doesn't stand a chance. That's a pretty good fight for Aster, I suppose. They traded one side for one for one when Three it comes to Three buybacks, though. Three buybacks. Yeah, that's definitely harsh. Three buybacks. That's definitely Radiant put them behind who? Boboka, XXS. Who's the last one that bought back? Uh, it was Mushi. Mushi, all right. Mushi, XXS, Boboka. Uh, two cores and your position four. Yeah, definitely rough. And disruptor ball back as well. I guess technically four buybacks. Yeah, only Nyx didn't. So if you somehow force their buybacks on that Uza at least, then you'll even it out a little bit. But right now you have to do something if you're Aster. Definitely you have the MKB on the Lifestealer as well. You saw they had ways of killing that Uza. They just have to kill everyone else first and then isolate. <laughs> Very easy task. A full static link definitely helped out yeah. as well. Well, here comes Sila, level 24, not yet with the Rage Talent. And he'll make short work. Well, these middle lane barracks are jumping from Koikva, catching the Razor. Roar is good with a stack storm on top. It does delay the push forward from Tiger. It allows Mushi to get the BKB off. As Sila rages and runs away, they do hold Alliance back with a quick glimpse. They buy back Dusa, hold their high ground. Alliance still looking pretty strong. Aster don't really have any objectives to go take right now. And they built a halberd on Kunka so they can use that versus the monkey or the Doza as well next fight. They do get repelled and Mikkei did use that buyback so... I think that's a small victory for Aster if they can maybe manage to kill Mikkei somehow in this next engagement. Mm, that could be a full side or even Megas. It's so hard though. This is their time to strike, though. There is no buyback on Dusa. Yeah, they're missing a lot of buybacks th themselves, but I think you risk it. There's also ultis down, right? A minute for Willow Wisp. Mm -hmm. Roar is coming up now. Even Wukong's command, 25 seconds. Could be. Mushi mid on Taiga. Nah, Taiga with the Yules. Just, nah, nah, not happening. You're not doing that to me. Taiga with the Yules and the Blink Dagger. Kunka with the torrent talents. I saw him take the damage one and I thought, okay, interesting. Goes for the AoE as well. Oh, right. Position three Kunka. Is under Not caring about tankiness. Dyer's They're going in. Look at this. And they want to finish this barracks. Silo not raging to complete it, knowing that the roar is there from Koik for potentially. As the Radiant team, they can maybe just hold this high ground here and shove out. Top and bottom, uh, top and middle. 
Duzi is going to have that MKB soon as well. So Nyx is going to be able to hide behind his Radiance and Evasion. A lot of damage stolen by Mushi96 there. Not a whole lot, but enough. Nice little stagger from Alliance, just in case they do get picked. Boxy scouting high ground. Quick for Insania Tiger with the team flight ultis holding back as far as they can. And this build just keeps getting more interesting from XXS. What's Solar Crest coming up now? Solar Crest, all right. Super good with that minus 70 attack speed against the single core Medusa. I mean, there's Monkey King. Come on, he has a Skadi now, too. Okay. He hits quite hard. But you definitely want to deal with that Uza with everything you can. So they are itemizing versus her. That's nice. They're going to have a Solar Crest on Disruptor, it seems, as well. I was hoping that he's going to go for Axe, but... I guess he's gonna get that solar very soon. He just needs the ultimate orb now. Second time in a row that ward spot has been. Yeah, they smoke up. Removed by Alliance. And Duze is all alone with Kotal behind. There's a glimmer, there's double force. I don't think he's in any real danger here. And if Mickey can scout this smoke, could save the life of Tiger. Quick for blinks away just in time. Her spirit yules up into the air, should be able to get the blink off as well, but Mika inside the static storm, drained of all his damage by Mushi. BKB out from the Razor now to chase forward as the Wukongs zoning them, big circles are out into play. The Raw catching Razor in the back, but in comes Baboka. Avalanche, where's the toss? Doesn't get it off, and the Illuminate over the top of them, but Alliance, they've killed off Razor and Disruptor with no buybacks on them. They need to keep Mika alive, it is an uh, absolute vital move to keep this Medusa going, and they do it. Baboka cannot do enough for his team as they lose Syla. Yep. Lose four. Lifestealer buys back. He has to. They're going to go and push right now. That's a five-man wipe. It's a big torrent, sure enough, but XSS can't arm the toggle through and Boxy. No one else has a buyback. Grab Boxy with an ultra kill. What did you say about Boxy again? Wait, like he's not a true core or I, something, I, right? I didn't say that. <laughs> I said Medusa was the one true carry. Yeah, I mean, I agree because they wasted everything on her. They sucked out all her life and her damage. She still survives. And because of all the attention that Mickey brought on himself, Boxy just cleans up, so... And they play that so well with the Will of the Wisp. Even even she get after she gets glimpsed, they still have a four staff for her to get her out. So very well played. Life stealer is missing. Yeah, Salar is top lane. Yeah, but he's alone. He has no buy like no one has a buyback. Tiny and Disruptor, they're gonna come alive any second now. But there we go, Alliance. Net yourselves another win and keep your hopes and dreams alive in this group stage. Second lane of barracks dropping. They can't swing bot because of the tier two. Well, this is going to put them in an excellent position, though, to propel themselves to victory. Five heroes. They're going to go to Rosh now. The yeah. How long is it? 30 seconds. Top shrine. Just wait for the Rosh go for that shrine. Take down that shrine. After you've taken it, it's very hard for Aster to come to this pit and fight it properly. And they just... Roshan will respawn in like 15 seconds, so... Siler scouting with the illusions. Roshan spawning now. Koikva has to defend back at base, but he's got himself the boots of travel after using the TP scroll. I'm, I'm just sitting here wondering, if Sila hadn't pushed that top wave, and Alliance had a creep wave meeting here onto tier 4s, they could maybe have taken one of these towers. They could have. That buyback from Sila, definitely useful. I think this tier 2 on bottom lane needs to die as well. They didn't take it ever in this whole game. So, speaking about objectives, that tier 2 is definitely a necessity for them. As if it doesn't fall, they can only go for Throne after that age. I, I'm actually surprised, quite surprised that they aren't really focusing onto that uh, Roshan and also that they're not scouting it, which can be very dangerous. Well, I do scan it. Kedantic Field scouts it for the Radiant team. Yeah, there's a Hawk flying in now, too. I mean, whatever Loder said during the break, it's definitely worked for Alliance here. 20 to 30, 8k lead now. I think it's the, the momentum that Aster lost as well. Alliance are playing better. 
but they still got handled a little bit in the laning stage. Uh, there is no momentum on the side of uh, Aster, right? There is no Shadow Shaman just pushing one one tower after another, then high ground. And this Dusa eventually gets so fat that you can't deal with her. Smart the spot. Mushi clears the wave. They do have Yules on Earth Spirit, so you have to be careful about the way you use that uh, X mark. There's a smoke from Aster. They want to make stuff happen. What's with the buyback status, by I the mean, way? No, no one's got buybacks. Look at that. Yeah, Beast Beast Master's Master the only one. Oh, Disruptor will have it soon. Though we're hitting this level 20, level 25 point of the game. Sila has the Rage. Plus two seconds. XXS, yeah, he went for the Torrent AoE. Baboka, level 15 talent. Avalanche damage. Mushi. There plus you go. 200 and stable current as they do catch with the Avatos. Static Link, Mickey. He forced Avs away, but into the Static Storm. I don't think it matters too much for him, as he's still going to right-click away with the help of the Will-O-Wisp. And the Wukong's in the back. Boxy goes to work on Mushi's Razor. And Asta, they're in disarray. They're scrambling. They kill Tiger, but what next? Mickey still has a Manta Star to toy around with. Oh, they picked off Koiker in the back. A double kill for Sylar. They're running around in circles, and Mushi surviving. Boxy, his focus doesn't pay off, and Sylar has a triple kill. Good repositioning by Astra as Mushi arriving. Static Link and Yules into the air, nearly dying to Mickey as he turns tail to fight. But an ultra for Sylar. Let's make this a rampage, shall we? One more kill left on the board. Give it the man a rampage. Madusa rampage back bus. into it, and Sylar claims it. Alright, Dusa has a buyback. The rest of them, Monkey, nowhere near it. Earth Spirit, nowhere near it. Kotl, nowhere near it. Beastmaster just bought back, I believe. Yep, so they're gonna go into that pit, take ages. Actually, if they. They could have forced that Dusa buyback right now. They could have done that. But take instead, they go for Rosh, which is alright. After that, they have to just go straight down top. Where's, where's Mushi? Where's Kunka? Where? And healing up, chilling a little bit in the fountain, getting Put, their region up. Pushing these super creep waves back. Mm -hmm. There's Tiny on the mid lane, he's doing that exactly. Preparing them for this push. Once the rush is gone, they just want to go straight down mid. They have Refresher now, right? It's a cheese refresher. Or is it just cheese? It's just cheese. It's only the second rush. Is it? It's the first. Is, the, is it the first one? Yeah, yeah. Because re remember, 25 minutes in, I was like, no one wants Roshan. They can't do it unless they win a team fight. Dude, we need and then to they go tried it. I need to go to sleep. Actually, I, I, I could have sworn that's like the third rush in this game. Well, it's 44 minutes in, but by all means, it, it could have been quite easily. <laughs> There's the Deuce of buyback after losing melee racks mid, so things start to even up here. And they forced another buyback. Okay, so Beastmaster no buyback for six minutes. Dusa no buyback for seven minutes. The rest of them, they just need gold. And Nyx, two, two more minutes. So I, I guess if you are Aster, you don't risk it. You wait for the buyback on the Nyx and then you go in again. I guess so. What a bizarre game. 45 minutes of this. <laughs> yeah. Where did we see that before, huh? My goodness. Did we see that in one of the Alliances game before? What it's do you got think? more swings than a child's playground. Look at it go. That's some crazy stuff. I mean, XP graph looks pretty much the same. A few throws here and there. Silar. I still can't believe that Mushi kited four people from Alliance in a, like, in a circle. Yep. Just like spiraling around all the way over here. Asta played around that Will-O-Wisp very nicely. It looked like Duza had it. He's like, all right, boys, I've got this. I'm going to force myself in. Don't worry about anything. And then he's like, all right, I'm doing no damage. They're just kiting me. I got away from Static Link nicely. Mm. Unfortunately forced into the Static Storm. And look at what he has in Quick Buy Me K. Of course. Of course. It has to be. The game ending item. He has no buyback anyway. If he dies, it's over, so... Just go for that rapier. But what do you replace? A boot? Boots, I guess? I don't it's got to be right. You've got Manta for move speed. You're fine. There we he go. sells the treads and buys it completely. Asta have smoked up, though. Illusions from Life Dealer shoving out bottom. 
Illusion room top. Mushi pings it. Yeah, he's going to take it for the Radiance, I guess. I suppose, yeah. And he can push top with the Illusions and just run down mid, potentially. Mickey, he's X-marked on the mid lane. Glimmered, but still torrented. <laughs> the full staff through the air. <laughs> Takes him away. Looked very glorious. They, they ping out the Rapier, though. They should know what damage is coming their way in the next fight, so they can't really just ignore Mikay. Oh, wait. Boxing, BKB. In the back, though, is another fight brewing. Mushi, full staffed away from the Static Link as Sila rages and runs through the Wukongs. But Mushi's in trouble here. Gets hit by the stone gate. He's going to try and make his way out. He does have that Aegis. So second life coming in and a big boat. It's huge. The shark lands on two. Will-O-Wisp will try and zone Astor out with the roar. Catching Razor on the way through. But the trouble rapier. is... Rapier. Mikke's Rapier might just be about to fall. The Mushi static link cancelled out prematurely. Mikke's still right-clicking away. But he needs the rest of his team to control Sila, Who pops the Rage and rips him apart. Rapier on the floor. And Alliance look down in the dumps. Three heroes dead and Astor... About to close this one out. This was so close to an Alliance victory. It's got to be super demoralizing to lose in this manner. Monkey and Dusa, your two big carries dead without buyback. Yep. And the rapier is taken by Nahix. Dusa, like, the, does he have buy four minutes no buyback? This should be game right here. I, I don't see how they defend Monkey. No Dusa, no Monkey. Monkey has no buyback either, 400 gold short. No barracks. No base very soon. Alliance Camps. are defending it to the bitter end, it seems. No Asta. This is a bit sad, actually. It's been a wild ride. Alliance, uh, it, is, it is a sad story. They looked good, we liked their draft, but mistakes here and there from both sides. Well, Sila whacks away at the throne, Tiger's gone in. Hit by the Static Storm and Koik for drained of all of his damage. Walked around as Mushi taps them out. And Boxy, Insania, Mika all call GG. And has asked to take the series two to nothing. Yeah. With the Rapier on Doza, with everything they needed to win that game, they somehow managed to... The game somehow manages to slip away through their fingers. I had a feeling like, yeah, the laning stage was rough. But they have this Dooza, so later on they should be yeah. fine. But the way Team Master just outplayed them in some <laughs> team fights, it was just... That spike at the end. But there we have it. That's us done and dusted <laughs> for today. It's been a long one. It it's has been. Half past ten. Yeah. Already. We've got two more best of twos tomorrow. That should round things up in the group stage. OG versus FTD and Asta versus Complexity. As we say goodnight for now, we'll be back tomorrow at midday. That's 12 CET with the rest of the Katowice group stage. Hopefully, I'll reclaim my voice and hopefully... We, you'll, 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 you'll not be sick any you'll, longer. We'll also not be sick. We've, uh, we've had a few problems, but we're, we're all good. We'll see you tomorrow for the rest of the Dota 2.